What limits poor scale displacement? Even though a reservoir rock looks solid, it is actually full of microscopic interconnected gaps called pores. In a sandstone rock, the pores are gaps between the sand grains stuck together by natural cement. The grains of sand contact with each other only at certain points, allowing water, oil and gas to flow through. The process of pushing the oil out of the pore space is called pore scale displacement and is used in the oil recovery calculation. However, not all of the oil can be pushed out of the pore spaces. To understand why, we need to look at what happens as injected water goes through the rock pores. In the first example, water comes in contact with water-wet rock. This happens when the rock attracts water and repels oil, so a thin film of water coats the sand grain surfaces. Here, the oil is generally found in the center of the pores. When water is injected, the thin water films on the sand grain surface begin to expand, replacing the oil that is being pushed to the producer. As these films expand, however, they meet up and create a blockage, shutting off the thin spaces between the sand grains. As a result, the pathways for the oil to flow through are gradually shut off, finally trapping the oil within the rock pores. This remaining oil is called residual oil. In the second example, water comes in contact with oil-wet rock. This happens when the rock attracts oil and repels water, so a thin film of oil coats the sand grains. When water is injected, it flows through the middle of the pores and the oil flows over the rock surface. The film gets thinner as the oil is produced until it finally breaks and oil flow stops. In practice, most reservoirs show a combination of water-wet and oil-wet behavior because of the variety of rock surfaces. For example, clay minerals found coating rock grains or in clusters within the pore spaces can control wettability. Pore scale displacement is controlled by the distribution of wettability and pore grain structure, which can vary dramatically within the reservoir. Which other recovery factor is low in the recovery equation?